Hi, I'm Misty Allen with Armanino, and today I'll be showing you the role centers in Dynamics AX. There are over 35 out-of-the-box role centers that cover a variety of roles, from the executives, like the CEO and the CFO, to a customer service representative, to an HR manager, to um, operations, production managers, um, every element of the business, every area of the business um, is covered by a role center, and I'll show you how those can be used on a daily basis. The first one I'm starting with is Sarah. Sarah's the CFO, so a lot of the information that she's looking at is very high level. She has her financial performance indicators on the left, organizational performance indicators on the right, some sales performance reports, which I'll get into in a second. And you'll notice that on the performance indicators as well, um, this is one goal for Microsoft, is really to make business intelligence um, self-service as much as they possibly can, to take the um, overhead out of the IT department and allow the users to sort of get to the information that they really need. And one way to do that is to allow your users to manage their own KPIs. And in this management, you can come in and edit the KPIs, and you can add filters, you can change dates in here, um, you can change the way the data is split when you drill into it, and you can also link things like reports, more detailed reports behind it. And that's all available um, for the users to do on their own if given the uh, security to do so. The other thing that is integrated in here is really, um, Microsoft really looks at their whole suite of products, including all the Office products as well. So Link is an instant messaging, um, video conference, emailing um, tool that is used and now fully integrated within AX as well. So you can see that Ken is the owner of these two indicators here. So if Sarah has a question about any of the indicators, she can see by the green dot that Ken's actually online, and she can come in and send him a quick message. So they can correspond back and forth about this immediately without her having to wait, go out to another program, create an email, create screenshots, um, there's screen sharing and everything that's available within here as well. So that's a great tool to be added into your ERP system. Now, as we scroll down, some of the other information that she can see are activities, so things that she is um, kind of keeping her eye on at a more detailed level, and then um, we'll get down here to the unified work list. So workflow is built into AX, electronic workflow. If, if a task is assigned to Sarah for approval of, say, a purchase requisition, for example, she'll see an activity pop up here in the unified work list, and she'll have the ability to come in and actually execute on that task directly from her role page. These role pages are also available out on the portal, so if Sarah has a phone or a mobile device that has a browser, she's able to get to this information just as easily as she would logging into the desktop. Okay. So the reporting information that we're looking at is a tool called PowerView. It's built right into AX. It is a contextual reporting tool, meaning this entire sales performance section right here is all together. So if I wanted to maybe only look at my retail customers, I could click on my retail customers, and you'll see how the graphs over here on the right adjust their numbers automatically for me. So now I'm looking at my invoice line amount by sales district only for my retail customers. And on the map, I can see very easily where my retail customers are spread out across the United States. Same thing over here. This is broken down by product group, so I can click on a product group, and all the graphs around it will adjust to uh, automatically. Okay. So let's take a look at another role center that is available um, here. And this role center is actually Connie. Connie is the credit and collections manager. So she's keeping track of things like past due customers, customers on hold, really transactionally based information. She needs to be alerted when things are going wrong, when she needs to act on, on a business issue. So these cues right here are really great visual indicator for her to see what's happening in the business, in her area of the business. So she can even drill through them so she can see that there are 150 past due invoices. When she clicks on that, she's drilling right into um, AX, into the details, and then she can get to all the detailed information about each of these invoices uh, directly from that role page. So if I go back to the role page, you can also see that Connie has 
the accounts receivable aging summary here. So uh, another reporting function that's built right in. And she has um, her own unified work list as well. So different kinds of activities may be going to Connie, customer follow-ups, that kinds of things that are assigned to her. Um, those will all show up as well as top past two customers and that information. Um, other reports can be added at the bottom. Other links can be added at the bottom as well. So the whole point of the Role Center is to really, for each area of your business, to give those users the tools that they need to, to visually see what's happening in their particular area and to be able to act on it very quickly. Um, and also at the executive level, to be able to see both high level and detailed information depending on what data they need to be tracking on a daily basis. So that is an overview of the Role Centers that are available in Dynamics AX. We'd love to show you more, so if you're interested in seeing a more detailed demonstration, please contact Armanino. Thank you.